You may or may not have diabetes right now, but it is a fact that we know that a large number of people in the world today are suffering from diabetes. We believe this video will help you stay away from diabetes. So, let's look at 10 ways to get rid of diabetes. Healthy eating. Balanced diet. Focus on a well-balanced diet that includes a variety of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats. Portion control. Monitor portion sizes to avoid overeating and manage blood sugar levels. Carbohydrate management. Pay attention to carbohydrate intake as they have a direct impact on blood sugar. Choose complex carbohydrates and distribute them evenly throughout the day. Regular exercise. How does exercise control diabetes? Exercise improves the body's sensitivity to insulin, allowing cells to use glucose more effectively for energy. This helps in lowering the blood sugar level. Regular exercise can help you lose or maintain weight, and maintaining a healthy weight can improve insulin sensitivity. Insulin resistance is a major factor in type 2 diabetes. Exercise reduces insulin resistance, making it easier for the body to use insulin effectively. During exercise, muscles use glucose for energy, which helps lower blood sugar levels. This effect continues even after the exercise session is over. Exercise is known to reduce stress, which can have a positive effect on blood sugar levels. Stress hormones can contribute to elevated blood sugar levels, and regular physical activity can help reduce this effect. Physical activity improves blood circulation, ensuring efficient transport of glucose and insulin to cells throughout the body. Regular exercise reduces the risk of type 2 diabetes. For those at risk, adopting a physically active lifestyle can be a preventative measure. Aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic exercise per week, along with strength training exercises at least twice a week. Weight management. Maintain a healthy weight, as excess weight can contribute to insulin resistance. Obesity is a significant risk factor for the development and exacerbation of diabetes, particularly type 2 diabetes. Here's how obesity affects diabetes. Obesity is strongly associated with insulin resistance, in which the body's cells become less responsive to the effects of insulin. This means that more insulin is needed to control blood sugar levels. Insulin resistance is a major factor in the development of type 2 diabetes. Excess adipose tissue, especially visceral fat, the fat surrounding the internal organs, produces inflammatory substances that can interfere with insulin action. Adipokines are hormones and signaling molecules produced by fat cells. In obesity, there is an imbalance in the production of these adipokines and contributes to insulin resistance and inflammation. Obesity can cause the insulin-producing beta cells in the pancreas to malfunction. It increases the blood sugar level. Excess free fatty acids impair insulin action in tissues, contributing to insulin resistance. Obesity can disrupt the balance of various hormones involved in glucose regulation, including insulin, leptin, and adiponectin. This hormonal imbalance contributes to insulin resistance and promotes the development of diabetes. Maintaining optimal blood sugar levels can be more challenging for people with obesity. Obesity is a major risk factor for developing type 2 diabetes. Obesity increases the risk of gestational diabetes during pregnancy, which in turn increases the risk of type 2 diabetes for both mother and child later in life. Consult with a healthcare professional to set realistic weight loss goals and develop a personalized plan. Monitoring blood sugar levels. Regularly monitor blood glucose levels as advised by your healthcare provider. Keep a log of your readings to identify patterns and make adjustments to your treatment plan accordingly. Medication. Take prescribed medications as directed by your healthcare provider. Insulin or oral medications may be necessary to help regulate blood sugar levels. Stress management. 
Practice stress-reducing techniques such as meditation, deep breathing, yoga, or mindfulness to help manage stress, which can impact blood sugar levels. Regular medical checkups. Schedule regular checkups with your healthcare team to monitor your overall health and adjust your diabetes management plan as needed. Quit smoking. If you smoke, quit. Smoking increases the risk of complications associated with diabetes. Limit alcohol intake. If you choose to drink alcohol, do so in moderation. Alcohol can affect blood sugar levels and interact with diabetes medications. Stay hydrated. Drink plenty of water to stay hydrated, which is important for overall health and can help regulate blood sugar levels. It's crucial to work closely with your healthcare team to develop a personalized diabetes management plan tailored to your specific needs and lifestyle. Regular communication with your healthcare provider is essential for making adjustments to your treatment plan and addressing any concerns or challenges you may encounter. Thank you for watching the video and if this video was important, please like, comment and share the video and subscribe to our channel to watch more health-related videos.